Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg. Today we're going to be wrapping up the ASX Top 200's weekly performance and just see what it might what might come to the ASX next week. So the ASX, like many of the other global indices, has seen a largely aggressive sell-off in recent weeks and months, although it has been spared from a lot of the damage that certain indices such as the NASDAQ, the FTSE and even the DAX have had to deal with and has largely been one of the stronger performers. Although, as we'll have a look now, we are going to check that it, to see if it may be um, may have a lot more damage to come. So firstly, let's just have a look at our weekly chart. Going back a while, and we can see that we're sitting on this really important support level just here. And there's been quite a bit of price action. In fact, we'll make this a We'll make this a zone, rather. So you can see we've got this big, important area of support here. And this is where a lot of our price action has been in recent times. And we haven't yet been able to break through. In fact, we've tested this area on multiple occasions, tested it twice, and still have bounced off it both times, which is a really positive sign that perhaps this is our bottom. Having a, um, a look at the, if it's to see if there's been a general trend, of course, we've got this kind of downward push, um, and we could probably zoom in on that, but again, we haven't yet been able to break through this point. We do seemingly have a kind of a, a pretty clear top over here at about 7,600 points, um, and we tested that three times, of course, without being able to get through. So we may be seeing a consolidation before a breakdown again, but for the moment, we have bounced off this area and potentially looking to break through this kind of downward trend. So that's where we sit at the moment on the longer term charts. And now we're going to have a look just a little bit closer. We can see that we had a pretty strong weekly candle um, towards the end, um, to this, towards the start of October. And that's really propelled us through October. Interestingly enough, with the month coming to an end, if we have a look, it's been a pretty strong candle. Whoops although been unable to really break through the previous month's um, opening price. So that is a little bit of a concern, but still a relatively strong candle. Now we're gonna move this back to the weekly and we're gonna have a look at the daily chart. So let's just bring this up. So of course, as we can tell, we've got these strong supports um, at about 6,400. 6, um, and as I stated, we've passed that a couple of times. Importantly, we've broken through the 50 period moving average and we are approaching um, the day 200 day moving average. So now the last time we got close, we were unable to break through. So based on a range of other economic factors and inflation figures, it will be interesting to see if we can break through this time. Although, as we can see, today's trading has caused quite a strong sell-off um, and is retesting this 50 um, day moving average, which is really important um, short term support. So if we are able to hold here, may see some pretty positive signs. If not, we may see a fall back down potentially to this support. The other thing is, let's just remove these drawings. Um, the other thing that I would like to note is that we may be in the early stages of a double bottom pattern or even a coiling. So as we can see, we've got bottom here, bottom here, um, and we've got this neckline. So if this price is able to break through the 7,100, um, don't be surprised if we retest the big the highs up here. But for the moment, guys, we are just waiting to see what happens. We're in a bit of choppy action, but we are currently sitting on some pretty long-term support. So it would be require probably quite an aggressive um, macroeconomic factor or environment to see the price drop down but again a lot of chop and quite a big sale of a week and day so perhaps sentiment is shifting towards the bears but for the moment just one to watch is the ASX top 200. Thanks guys for watching and good luck with your trading.